In this segment of electricity, we are going to discuss about the heating effect of electric current, its applications and electric power. A cell or a battery has to keep expanding its chemical energy to maintain the potential difference between its two terminals that sets the electrons in motion to flow the current through a resistor or a system of resistors connected to it. By the conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Here a part of the energy is converted to light or rotating a fan etc and the rest of the energy may be expended in heat to raise the temperature of the gadgets which we observe in our everyday life. If the electric circuit is purely resistive, that is no work is being done, then the source energy continually gets dissipated in the form of heat. An English physicist and a mathematician by name James Prescott Joule studied the nature of heat and discovered its relationship to mechanical work, which led to the law of conservation of energy. Let's discuss the derivation for Joule's law of heating. Consider a current I flowing through a resistor of resistance R, potential difference V. Let T be the time during which a charge Q flows across it. The work done in moving the charge Q through a potential difference V is equal to VQ from the equation V is equal to W upon Q. The power input to the circuit by the source is given by work done upon time. Substituting for work done as VQ from the previous equation and time as T. We obtain P is equal to Vi from the equation I is equal to Q upon T. The energy supplied to the circuit by the source in time T is given by the product of power and time. Substituting for power from the previous equation as Vi, the heat energy produced in the resistor is given by H is equal to Vit. Applying Ohm's law. Substituting V as IR, H is equal to IR into IT, which is equal to I square RT. This is Joule's law of heating. Joule's law implies that heat produced in a resistor is directly proportional to the square of the current for a given resistance means as the current for a given resistance through the resistor increases, the heat produced in the resistor also increases and vice versa. Directly proportional to resistance for a given current means if the resistance for a given current in the resistor is more, more is the heat produced and vice versa and directly proportional to the time for which the current flows through the resistor means as the time for which the current flows through the resistor increases, the heat produced in the resistor also increases and vice versa. To sum up, the heat produced in the resistor is directly proportional to the product of the square of the current, resistance and time. The generation of heat in a conductor is an undesirable and unavoidable as it converts useful electrical energy into heat which increases the temperature of the gadgets. However, the heating effect of electric current has many applications in electric appliances and gadgets such as electric toaster, iron box, kettle, stove, water heater, etc. are some of the familiar devices based on Joule's heating. The electric heating is also used to produce light in the bulb. The filament made of strong metal such as a tungsten with a high melting point of about 3380 degrees Celsius must retain as much of the heat generated as is possible so that it gets very hot and emits light and it must not melt at such high temperature. The filament is thermally isolated using insulating support and the bulb is filled with chemically inactive gases of nitrogen and argon to prolong the life of the filament. Another important application of Joule's heating is the fuse used in electric circuits. 
It is always connected in series to detect fault in the current pathway and protects the circuits and gadgets by stopping the flow of any unduly high current. The fuse is a piece of wire made of a metal or an alloy of aluminium, copper, iron, lead, etc. of appropriate melting point. If a current larger than the specified value flows through the circuit, the temperature of the fuse wire increases which melts the fuse wire and breaks the circuit. The fuse wire is usually encased in a cartridge of porcelain or similar material with metal ends. The fuse used for domestic purposes are rated as 1 ampere, 2 ampere, 3 ampere, 5 ampere, 10 ampere, etc. For example, an electric iron which consumes 1 kilowatt electric power when operated at a potential difference of 220 volt, then the current I is given by power upon voltage, substituting the values for power and voltage as 1 kilowatt and 220 volts, we obtain 4.54 ampere. Thus, a 5 ampere rated fuse must be used for this electric iron. Well, now let's discuss what is electric power. Electric power is the rate of doing work or the rate at which the electric energy is dissipated or consumed in an electric circuit. Mathematically, electric power is equal to work done upon time. The work done in moving the charge Q at a potential difference V is equal to VQ upon T, which is equal to the product of voltage and current. Substituting for V as IR or I as V upon R from Ohm's law, we get electric power is equal to I square R or V square upon R. The SI unit of electric power is what? The SI unit of electric power is named after a Scottish inventor and a mechanical engineer of the 18th century who improved the steam engine and drove the industrial revolution, James Watt. Well, 1 watt is the power consumed by a device that carries 1 ampere of current when operated at a potential difference of 1 volt. Mathematically, 1 watt is a product of 1 volt and 1 ampere. Electrical energy is a product of power and time. Therefore, the unit is watt hour. 1 watt hour is the energy consumed when 1 watt of power is used for 1 hour. The commercial unit of electric energy is kilowatt hour, commonly known as unit. On calculation, 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 1000 watt into 3600 seconds, which is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 watt seconds, or 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule. Usually, there is a misconception that the electrons are consumed in an electric circuit. The bill paid to electricity board is to provide energy to move electrons through the electrical gadgets like electric bulb, fan and engines, but not to produce electrons. An analog multimeter or a digital multimeter is a standard diagnostic tool for technicians in electrical and electronic industries. It is used to measure two or more electrical values such as voltage, current and resistance. And finally with a piece of suggestion, save energy at home and at work. Hope you have understood. Thank you.